Dave, congratulations. Three goals, three points. Happy with that? Happy with the three goals, happy with the three points. Um, Performance-wise, I'm, I'm sat watching the last 20 minutes. Um, not, not biting my fingernails by any, by any stretch, but throughout the whole game, I thought we started the game really, really well. I just felt we, we, we could have had loads more control. We need to be better better on the ball technically and, and be braver in terms of what we did. Um, and even at 2-0, I said at half-time, the game was like a... It was almost like a basketball game end, end to end and open. Um, and when you tune in front, listen, that could turn into 3 4 5 nil. But on the flip side of that, it could quite easily go 2 2 within a, uh, the blink of an eye. So I wanted us to have more control. To be honest, we didn't get that through the whole through the whole game. Um, and even less so when you make the changes at the end. But that was through necessity. We've got, like I say, we've got a, a tough run of games um, and a, a tough number of games, if you like, over the, over the coming weeks and months. And we wanted to try and protect as many as we can because we are right down to our bare bones. I think you came here expecting to need to, to scrap and, and particularly in these conditions I guess it's the kind of result that you associate with a promotion winning side. Do you feel like your team stepped up to that today? Yeah, we, we spoke about that before the game. It's not it can, Certainly coming here on the back of going to Wimbledon and, and MK Dons and winning obviously at home at Wrexham next week certainly couldn't and was no way going to be the after the Lord Mayor show type thing. You, you come here and this place is this place has changed over certainly since I've been here last, um, and there's been money spent and it probably detracts from what it used to be. But don't move anything away from the fact that John and Jimmy's teams are tough to play against, and they are a um, I suppose a picture of what they are: hard working. Um, you won't get anything easy, and and they'll have come into this game knowing the result that or results we've had, and their players knowing that at minimum they're going to make things really really tough for for, for us, and and ask real questions of us attitude wise as much as anything else. And um, listen, the way you start the game, one of the goals you get that then challenges that in terms of what you do. But they kept asking questions of us right till right till the end, and I didn't expect any different. Um, and we spoke about that before before coming out. I thought the players responded to it really really well. I, I would like us, like I say, to have to have been better um, in the middle of the pitch because they, they matched us up in terms of like, the shape and put went man for man against us in midfield. But I, I just meant that our, our fullbacks should be spare. And if um, if one of their midfielders jumped, then we needed to find the spare one. We didn't do that well enough, and we didn't do that often enough in the in the first half, especially when you're two 0 up. Another goal for Tanto Alafe who was was pretty unplayable at times in that first half, and the ball back to him was actually a little bit behind him. And, and maybe a few weeks ago, he might not have took that shot on, but that's a sign of the, the confidence that he's playing with right now. Yeah, we, listen, we scored two great goals in the uh, in the in the in the first half, um, and had loads of other really good opportunities to score in the game. Some will say the game is done at two 0 I don't think it didn't think it was, um, but it probably should have been. Um, yeah, but Tanto's in a in a little run as as is Louis in a, a longer run, um, and they're both in really good places in terms of confidence, in terms of belief. I still think that, like I say, there are parts of um, their games that, for me, we as a team need to simplify, and they need to simplify because. They have the raw attributes that scare defenders. Um, and if people, especially when we get ourselves in front, if people are going to jump on us and leave open spaces in either wide channels or, so, or half spaces, then the last thing you want is those two running at you. Um, and they've now added, like I say, a run of a run of goal to that, which is massively pleasing. And Will Collar chipping in as well. Just signs the last few weeks of, of starting to see the best of him again. Yeah, listen, brilliant play by Sars in the middle of the pitch to start with a great run, a great ball and a, and a great finish. Um, and yeah, he has, he's for the first time is, I would suggest, properly match fit now in terms of, we look at we look at numbers in terms of what he produced, certainly through the National League season when we, when we won the league. Um, he's not quite got back to that. And over the course of last season, he had trivial injuries should we call them um, a concussion alongside that and it, it was fragmented for him and then he had the injury at the at the end of the season which again um, if we're all being really honest put a real mock on all us in terms of our affecting our opportunities our chances would decrease when him and Woods weren't fit for us getting promoted so um, it's took him a bit of time over the start of this season pre-season but he's pain free um, playing with a, a smile on his face and getting back to, to what we saw um, over the last 80, 18 months to two years. And a post-war record now, a club record for, for Louis Barry. 
how much a, how special an achievement is that, particularly so early on in his county career as well? Yeah, this it's, 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 it's a brilliant achievement in terms of scoring in consecutive games as he has as he has. Um, he's, he's got to keep that going for as long as possible now. Records are there to be broken, aren't they? He's got to try and get himself in a position where his record stands and it can never be broken. And that starts again on on, on Tuesday. Um, He's had he's had good chances today, and I think the thing, and he'll he'll, he'll say or has said a similar thing. What at what point is he going to go and get a, a brace or a, or a hat trick? Because he had opportunities. He he missed two two good chances. One brilliant running in the in the, in the, in the second half when he tiptoes along the along the byline. Um, but one where he's got a volley, where he's got more time than he than he thinks, um, and ultimately gets the best opportunity you can have with a, with a penalty. A penalty that I don't think was a, a penalty. Well, not don't think I can see why it's given, but I think. Um, if it had been given against us, I'd have been um, a little bit, a little bit displeased. But it probably makes up for the five and six we should have had and haven't been given. So um, we'll absolutely take them when they come along, and it goes along to, like I say, create a record for for Louis. Um, and that that's brilliant for him. He's in a he's in a good place. He's enjoying his football. He's playing with a smile on his face. He's a he's a huge threat, um, and he's added numbers to his dribbling ability that everyone's seen over the past past two and three years to become and add that goal threat and goal involvement to that will will ultimately take him to the next level as a player. I know you'll have been disappointed at losing your clean sheet late on. In the grand scheme of things, does that maybe just keep everyone a little bit grounded now going forward? Well, I wasn't. I, listen, I wasn't overly. Sounds wrong. I'm disappointed with not keeping a clean sheet. I was disappointed with the way that um, the game swings on making making sub make substitutions um, because you've got to be prepared um, to go and impact the game. And uh, listen, I'm I'm very wary of making as many changes as we did. If you make five subs, great. I think people think that's brilliant. It gives you loads of opportunities and loads of... It, it does if you need to, but the reality of it is if you're changing half your outfield team, then the game can become really fragmented and you're changing lots and lots of different things. And we didn't want to do it, but we have to have an eye on Tuesday and go, well, if we keep them out there and Louis or Tanto picks up an injury or saw some will to that degree picks up an injury, we're going to be kicking ourselves. So at 3-0, you should be able to make the changes and put the players on that we did. And even though we're under a bit of pressure, still try and get some control, at least try and look organised. I don't think we did. We looked frantic. Um, and panic almost ran through the ran through the team. And on a different day, you could get you could come unstuck. We, we, that, that, that we should have managed that game much much better than we than we did and all of the ones who, who came on will will are the next ones in if you like and the fact that that's where we stand we we haven't got a an outfield player today that wasn't involved in our in our squad and you look around and there's um you've got a 17 year old an 18 year old two 19 year olds um and they're the next ones in so when they get them opportunities they've got to go and they've got to go and grab them because they'll all rightly want to play and, and in some instances will say I think I think I should be playing well, go, go and show it they had an opportunity like I said I was, that was my disappointment even from from Tuesday night somewhere out of a, a cup competition that isn't the, the be all and end all of where we're at but it's an opportunity for them to go and show that they're a big part of this squad and I hope that in four weeks three four weeks time I've got four or five players back they've got to make sure that when they get their opportunities they're not the ones that miss out um, because like I say, we are bare bones and we're going to need people. So when they go on there, I need them to go and put in mature performances that um, either go and see out a game for us or go and change a game in terms of going and winning a, winning a game for us. That was the, the biggest, like I say, the biggest, the biggest thing. Um, rather than the fact we, we conceded a goal at the end of the season, if we if we don't get promoted by a goal, then maybe I'll be I'll be a little bit different in terms of in terms of that thought process. But. We should have been comfortable in them, in them last 20 minutes and we certainly didn't feel like that. I'm sure you'd have liked to have named an unchanged side today as well after last week. Obviously, couldn't do that because of the injury to Ibi Torre. Do you have an, an update on him and how long he might be out for? Not really. Um, again, talk about trivi trivial injuries. Ibi's carrying the ball in training on. We were off on Monday on Tuesday um, in, a, in a way, unopposed way of practice and, um, and rolls his ankle, um, so he's been scanned, um, and it's not it's not listen, it's not the, the, the worst of news, but it's swollen, so we have to make for that swelling to go down in order to assess what's the the next course of treatment for him. We hope it's 
weeks rather than months, if you like, but we won't know until probably the middle of middle of next week whether that's going to be the case or not, which is obviously a, listen, it's obviously a blow. Um, we are tight, especially when you think that you lose Rydell in that position, and now you lose Ibby in that position in terms of in terms of the, the natural left siders. We've obviously still got Miles out as well. Um, so we just need to see where, where we're at and cross our fingers that um, the news we get is positive. Um, and in the next few weeks, we've got to we've got to get by with what we've with what we've got. Um, and the better and more effective or efficiently we can do that, then middle of October for us should be like a, a, a fresh transfer window and to have Wooten, Noel, Hippolyte, Powell back um, available and potentially AB as well back available for selection for us um, will be a huge positive. It does complete an unbeaten September, four wins and a draw. You're only three points off top now as well. It just gives you a real platform to build on now heading into two home games this week. It does, but the home games are different challenges. I think you look at the certainly the last three games we've had, um, MK Dons and Wimbledon away from home, they would definitely thought they could they could beat us. Um, Wrexham obviously came and wanted to wanted to beat us. Um, today was again Akerson matched us up and tried to stop us a little bit in terms of what we did. We got ourselves in front. Um, we get some home games now where you look at what happened last year with certain teams that came to, to Edgley Park. They, they certainly didn't come to win the game. Well, they, didn't, they certainly didn't come to win a, an open game. They came to frustrate and make it difficult. And we could face that in the next. We, I say we got a block. That's our first block of our block. Of, next block of nine games. In the next eight of that block of nine, we could face that. So we've got to make sure that I say we're as good as um, what we have been, but also adaptable in doing what we need to do in order to create opportunities for us and score first and score early if we can that makes potentially teams change which was, will, will give us a better chance of, of making the game more open from our perspective um, when we're in possession and go and keep winning keep winning games and that the challenge will, will come I'm sure um, first and foremost we, we, we recover make sure look forward to I say look forward to, to Tuesday now um, and, and hopefully a win at home in front of our, our own fans. I just want to give the final word to those fans, a lot of them stuck in the rain away to our right-hand side. Uh, 1,900 of them here today and, and they made it like a home game for you at times. They did. We, we, we spoke about, again, we spoke about that in terms of what that, what that felt like um, and what that would look like. We knew it would be different in terms of... Um, other areas of the of the pitch, but um, yeah, on a horrible day in a, a an uncovered uh, away end, um, we've got an uncovered home end to be fair at the time. So um, yeah, not nice. They go on wet, soaked wet through, but hopefully back to the pub and back home um, with smiles on the faces, with our, our fourth fourth win on the spin, and um, I suppose the comforts of Edgley Park and, and and a roof for most of them um, in the next couple of games. Well done today. Cheers.